Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how to level up your tater tots three delicious ways. So the level up is a series on my channel where I take foods that you vote for and I level them up three different ways, starting with level one being kind of basic, you know, easy to make, and level three being like super over the top, decadent, rich, depending on the food that it is. Tater tots are, I think, a childhood favorite for most of us. Um, and when I saw a couple of you guys comment tater tots, I was like, yes, I need to make that happen. So last week, I think we did burgers. This week, we're doing tater tots. I'm gonna level them up making like a bacon wrapped tater tot, a breakfast skillet, and then tater nachos or tater tachos. Delicious. <laughs> Step one of level one is you want to take your bacon. So I have the King's Cafe bacon that I always use. I'm going to cut all the bacon in half and then cut it in half again. And then it has four quarters. That's how math works. So cutting that, put that on top of this guy, cut it again. And then these are the little pieces that we are going to wrap around the tater tots. She's like, but my boyfriend's leaving me. Okay, so I'm going to add some coconut milk in here. And the reason, actually I'm just gonna use the rest of this. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because there's no actual fat in this bacon. Like vegan bacon doesn't have a lot of fat in it. So it can't cook in its own fat. Like it can't get rendered down and cook in its own fat like normal bacon does. So we're going to just fake it with our coconut milk. We're going to add brown sugar to my coconut oil. Just give that a stir. And you have this um, sweet syrupy oil. Just, just stick with me on this, trust me. I would never lie to you. I've never steered you wrong. This will be delicious. All right, now that we have that, what's going to happen now is we are going to take our bacon, we are going to take our tater tot, we're gonna wrap our bacon around the tater tot, secure it, voila, and then we are going to brush it with our oil and our sugar and throw it onto a baking sheet, which I do not have ready because I suck at my job. Hold on. <laughs> and do that for 24 of your tater tots. All right, level two is a breakfast skillet, kind of. It's like a breakfast casserole. So I'm going to take these tater tots, I'm gonna put them in this casserole dish, I'm gonna top them with, what is this? Tofu scramble. If you want the tofu scramble recipe, it's in my cookbook, so go buy it. I also have a version of it on my website. Um, then we're going to top it with some Beyond Meat sausage, a little bit of cheese, throw that in the oven, and then drizzle it with hollandaise and then have the best brunch ever. So I have these, they're ready to go. We're just gonna, apparently, five at a time, put them in here. <laughs> Stick them into our, oh, okay, dogs, who wants a potato? Look, what's this? Good girl. Who needs a vacuum cleaner when you have dogs? It's pretty much like a breakfast poutine or like loaded hash browns kind of. Fry up some sausage. These are the Beyond Meat sausages. I just cut them up. We're going to cook them up and then toss them on top of our breakfast skillet. You don't need any oil for this because they're super fatty, which is the point. Um, I have it on medium high heat. I'm gonna cook these for about five minutes or so. Now I'm going to top it with the tofu scramble. Just throw it on there. Oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> I'm burning my hands. Do, 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 do. Now the sausage, you can do this with any of your favorite vegan sausages. You can put vegan bacon on here if you want. Um, you can even put like veggie ground round. Whatever protein you feel like. I think the sausage though will be really, really, really tasty. Do, 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 do. My OCD is kicking in. There must be even amounts of sausage everywhere. Does that look even? Now top it with cheese, whatever vegan cheese is your favorite. Today I'm using cheddar style. It's also very good with like Gouda or mozzarella or Tex-Mex. And now throw that into the oven. Bye. Okay, now that our cheese is melted, we are going to add our hollandaise. Just, just go for it. If you have any leftover hollandaise, you can have eggs benedict the next day. This needs something green, chives. We need to put chives on this. 
Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, for level three for the tachos, I am going to use the same fat that's already in the pan to brown this veggie ground round. So I'm just gonna heat that up. You really just want to heat it up until it's warm. It's going in the oven, so it'll warm up even more, but we want to season it. So I'm just using like your ordinary organic taco seasoning. And I'm not really measuring it. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top, add a little bit of water, and then cook that up until it's heated through. Ooh, I can smell it already. Smells like a fiesta in here. While the ground round is browning, I'm gonna take the tater tots, throw them onto a pan, and then we're going to dress them just like normal nachos. So, so get in there. It's very basic. If you've made nachos, do the exact same thing, just with tater tots. Okay, now add the veggie ground round. Spread it out. <laughs> gonna add some corn, add some cheese, and toss it into the oven. You can also use cheese sauce. If you have your own favorite vegan homemade cheese sauce, you can use that. Do whatever you wanna do. These are your nachos. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your best nacho life. Okay, let's dress these nachos. They're hot out of the oven. We are going to start with some pickled jalapenos. You can use salsa as well, but I just felt like doing some chopped cherry tomatoes. Just think that they look really pretty, then blobs of salsa. Then I'm going to throw in the middle a pile of sour cream and then a pile of guac. And then you can like dip your shit in it. Dip your stuff in it. One pile of guac, pile of sour cream. And then to garnish, we are going to add some green onions and cilantro. A little bit there, a little bit there. Et voila. Tater tachos. Nailed it. Oh my God, they look so good. All right, guys, there you have it. We have level one, two, and three of our tater tots. We have our bacon wrapped candy tater tots. We have our breakfast skillet slash casserole. And then we have our tater tachos. Okay, let's give this one a try. Ooh, it's so crispy. Oh. Oh wow, that is sweet and salty. It's really good. That is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Oh my God. That bacon is everything, guys. If you can get this bacon, you should buy it. Um, okay, let's try the breakfast. I want a little bit of everything in each bite. Oh my God. Very decadent. I would have this as like a side to the rest of my breakfast, not as a main because it is so rich. Oh my God, these Beyond Meat sausages are so good. So far, two for two. How do you eat nachos? Little bit of everything. Three for three, they are delicious. Oh my God. Mm. Let me know in the comment section, which one is your favorite? Let me also know which recipe you want me to level up next. If you're new here, Bonjour, welcome. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos every single week. And if you like these recipes, give the video a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.